in the den with the TRU Wolfpack. Both Wolfpack basketball teams were at home this weekend hosting the Brandon Bobcats, each with a chance to punch their ticket to the Canada West playoffs in their final home games of the regular season. This weekend, the Wolfpack men had the opportunity to lock up a playoff berth if they could beat the Bobcats on Friday night. TRU put together their best offensive game of the season as they beat up on the Bobcats 104 to 86. Derek Rhodes led the way with 25 points, while all five starters scored in the double digits. The Wolfpack women needed a pair of weekend victories against the Bobcats to secure a playoff spot. Michelle Boss went off for TRU, scoring 24 points on Friday. The Pack also had strong games from Shanice Sigsworth, Jordan Haggerty and Emma Piggin, who each chipped in with 11. TRU would hold off a second half surge from Brandon to win 80-73, keeping their playoff hopes alive. Saturday was the final home games for TRU basketball this season, which meant a pair of graduating players. Shanice Sigsworth was honored after the women's game for her contribution to the program, while Luke Morris was the lone graduating player on the men's side. The women battled hard but came up short against the Bobcats, who won 81-73, ultimately dashing the Wolfpack's playoff hopes. After the game, Sigsworth was emotional about her final appearance in the orange and black. What are you going to remember most about your five years with the Wolfpack? That's a hard one. Like, I just, all the support that I've got through teammates, the coaches, all the support through friends and family that come watch. It's been a great five years. The men also lost to Brandon Saturday night, scoring 47 fewer points than on Friday and dropping their final regular season game 66 to 57. Luke Morris reflected on his five years with the Wolf Pack and the playoff date his squad has with the Regina Cougars next weekend. Didn't seem like I was been here for five years. It seemed like it was, came by a little quick, I thought. Um, it's kind of just like felt like I got here a couple weeks ago, started training with the guys, and then all of a sudden I'm, it's over. So I'd say just a little surreal, I'd say. I guess a benefit that you did make the playoffs, and uh, mm -hmm. so now it's, it looks like it's going to be Regina. Yeah, you know, your thoughts going into the postseason? Um, we just got to, we haven't looked at Regina. We played them early in the preseason, but we, they have had, uh, had some injuries when we played them, I think. So we just got to analyze the tape, get ready for practice this week, see what they do. I think they're pretty good in transition, so we got to get ready for that again, similar to Brandon. So just get ready for the next team, see how they are. Looking for affordable family entertainment? Enjoy a Wolfpack game and support our future Olympians and leaders of tomorrow. Check out the Wolfpack website for schedules, scores, and news. And catch more TRU Wolfpack on In the Den. Back the Pack with TRU. Watch In the Den Monday and Thursday on the Evening News.